Hello and welcome to this video. I'm going to show you how you can set up any MCP server and this is a custom MCP server in five minutes. It's a simple easy process. I have a master prompt to build any MCP and you don't have to do any research on documentation or anything like that. Okay so the way this works is basically all we need to do is use a Python SDK right in order to build a Python server we then, we then launch Python server and then we change the settings.json inside Klein or Roo in order to run the server, right? So it's a very, very simple process and I'm going to show you exactly how to do it now. Now this does require fetch and also brave MCPs. These are already set up. These are MCPs that you can get inside um, Klein. If you go here and just go to install, right, and just search fetch. Then you can get the fetch MCP right here and the brave MCP is right here too. However, I needed something that wasn't here. So data for SEO, this is one that does not exist inside the marketplace. I tried to use the MCPs online, right? So I went to Google, I typed data for SEO MCP and I installed this, I ran through it and it just wasn't working. I got so pissed off that I tried to make my own. And now if I go to MCPs and go to installed, you'll see that it's set up now it's saying it's not set up so let's just try and test it real quick just so you guys can see right so we'll just use a random test here press approve there we go so this is a custom built mcp that can do data for seo research the reason that i'm doing this is because i'm trying to automate an entire outreach process where we outreach to people using ai in a slightly different way with a very very customized report and how exactly we can help that person grow their SEO, right? That's my kind of end goal here. However, I'm gonna show you how you can do any MCP server in five minutes. So let's just get started. Now, if you want a little bit, little bit more help with this, then definitely think about signing up to the school. Um, inside this one here, local NA10 and MCP node, you can actually see that this entire prompt is already here. This is the prompt that I'm gonna be using. Sorry, it's inside making your own MCP. This is the prompt here, right? So I'll just put the prompt here and then we'll go through it quickly. So this, the, I haven't started building the project yet, okay? Just say no. So I am gonna show you how to do this in five minutes. I'm just explaining everything first. So I'm using Gemini 2.5 Pro, right? I want you to do two things. Use my various MCPs to do research, load the MCP documentation you have in your memory first, right? Because it actually has uh, stored MCP memory which is really, really interesting and really, really cool. And then under that, I, I basically explain how it can make a server. So in order to build a complete server, you must have a server built on Python SDK, right? Which I'm also giving the link to the GitHub, which I'll leave in the description alongside this prompt completely for free. A way to start the server and include detailed terminal logging to see the, the server starting. Changes to the MCP settings.json file used to store my MCP server in order to start the SSE server on Uniborn or yeah, Uvicorn, whatever it's called. I always get this name wrong. I always call it Unicorn. All of these possible API endpoints listed as separate tools, right? All of the possible API endpoints listed as separate tools. Let me just talk about what that actually means. So if you go on Google, type in data for SEO documentation, I probably won't use data for SEO in this example just because I've already done it. But I want all of these to be endpoints, right? So that we can get a load of information. So like this, for example, I really want this to be an endpoint. So this exists as an endpoint. I can get this information natively inside Klein or Roo. Okay, and I'm trying to make it my own personal assistant basically. Detailed documentation on each endpoint, use case, and potential variables. Firstly, research the Python SDK for building an MCP server. Then research the data for SEO documentation. So you just change whatever you want here, right? I think what I'll do in this video is I'll try and make um, a Brave MCP that does local search, right? I've never been able to do this before. So we'll just try this right now. So then research the, not data for SEO, but we'll say Brave local search API and implement all relevant endpoints, right? And then we'll put my API key from Brave. So we'll go to um, Brave API. And we'll just grab an API key here, make sure it's pro subscription, which is what you need for um, the local API thing. And we'll say my 
API key is this. And then we'll just say, I only want local search functionality. Call the MCP um, Brave local search. Brave local, oh my God, please search MCP. Okay, and then we'll press enter here. So remember, I'm on Gemini 2.5. So let's see how it does this. This is a pretty interesting process. So it already didn't get the uh, MCP from its memory, but that's fine. It does have MCP inside its memory, which would have been useful to know, but that's okay. I've told it exactly how to do it anyway, so it shouldn't even need that. So now it's doing research on the Brave Search MCP, right? Understanding the documentation, etc. Let's see what it comes up with. So now it's fetching the markdown of those pages, right? This is the documentation for web search. Good, 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 good. Should be able to find the endpoints from this, which is all it needs, right? Because all an MCP is, is natively exposing a third party API endpoint, right? That's literally all it is. So we've got get location IDs, get local POIs, get local description IDs. This is something that I've never been able to do, right? So I'm just using this as an example because I've never done it, right? I don't want to just be like, oh, look at this amazing MCP server that I set up. I want to show you exactly how it's done. So it's now creating the brave local search mcp.py, right? Which is the, you can think of this as like the app.py inside of a Flask server. So this is how the server is created. And then it should test the server by running it. And then literally all we have to do is make sure that when it tries to call the MCP, the server is automatically started, which is how the model talks to the third party MCP, right? Or the third party API. All it is really MCP is a fancy way of taking third party API calls from the terminal into the native, um, into native like use of the, by the LLM, right? Or by whatever you're building. So we'll just, uh, I can see here that there's a hard coded variable here. I don't know if this is gonna work. Um, I think it probably needs to use, um, it probably needs to use .env, but it's fine. Let's just run this here. So this installs Brave Local Search, right? You can see it's actually been added to the Claude app, it seems. I don't know for a fact if that's true, but if we just go here and go to File, Settings, and then Developer. Yeah, uh, no, that's not it. Okay. Okay, so I specifically told it to do a bunch of things, but it hasn't actually done all of the steps, which is quite annoying. So we'll just say, please make sure you've done all these steps. You haven't fully installed it for use by fine. So we'll just send this again. Um, this does happen, right? At the end of the day, it's just AI coding AI. So, so you can see here now it says, expose the SSE app for um, <sighs> UVCorn. I probably said it wrong before. God knows what I actually said. <laughs> okay, so now it's creating the .bat file, right? Which is how the server gets started when the MCP is called, right? This is the important part here. This is what, when you're trying to install an MCP, this is what happens when it, 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 doesn't, it just doesn't work, right? This is why it doesn't work sometimes. So you should be able to find it yourself. It's it's in the client settings. Find it yourself with your big brain. So we'll just tell it to find it itself just because I don't know exactly where the settings are. I should be able to find it pretty easily. Okay, so it's not actually finding the settings. So I'll just go here, go to installed, press config MCP servers, right click here, copy relative path, and then just send that. Kind of annoying that it can't find that, but it's okay. It tried, it didn't find it. Uh, so now it should easily be able to find it because I've given it the exact path, right? So now it's gonna read and then hopefully just add what I've asked it to add. And then we should have a completely functioning MCP server in five minutes. Final thing we need to do is we just need to say the MCP server must be started by the um, by the bat file from the settings. 
when the commands are run. Okay, so it says it's working. Uh, I doubt it is working, but we'll say now test the MCP. I still think that there are a couple more things that we have to do, but I mean, it might work, so we might as well test it. Yeah, classic. I'm just feeding it the error from here. This normally helps. So if you just go to installed and then triple click here and copy the error, there will be a few errors. It's just the nature of doing this. Um, I don't know exactly what it is, but so you can see here, it says it tells us exactly what the problem is, right? Okay, so it wasn't in Python's path, basically. So let's see if this works now. Okay, so I just press refresh here, right? It said it wasn't working. I'm just gonna change this timeout to one hour. Now it says 404, right? SEC error, that's fine. So now we've got a new error. So we'll send the error here. Okay, moment of truth, is this working now? So it still says not connected, right? But we've just gotta push through a little bit more. Press refresh here, see what the new error is. Still says the same thing. Okay, wait, I think we just did it. Yeah, it looks like it's working uh, because it's taking a bit of time to answer. So let's see, coffee shops near Buckingham Palace. I have never managed to have a local Brave search work. Let's see if this is it. Okay, and there we go, it does actually work. So you can see here, query coffee shops near Buckingham Palace, no, no locations found, but that's fine. So the trick here is to use Studio. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change this prompt for you guys and also for the course, um, so that it specifically says use Studio, and that should one-shot MCPs for you. If you notice, I didn't have to do any research on the Brave API, I didn't have to copy anything, I just let this do everything. So now you can see it's got um, these local POIs, and then if I approve this, this should give me detailed location data about these businesses. That's it, guys. I'm going to leave the video there, guys. That was a little bit longer than I was hoping for. However, with this improved prompt that I've iterated on, and you will get the best iteration possible, you should be able to one-shot whatever you want in terms of MCPs. Thanks for watching, guys. If you're watching all the way to the end of the video, as usual, you're an absolute legend, and I will see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out.